your hair. Yes, <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are not Tori. You are Lars. That's true. I am Lars. It's good to meet you, buddy. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. I've been looking forward to this. What are we going to do? Let's build a pedal board. Okay. Let's see what you want. Okay, so we're going to make, out of the TC line of pedals, we're going to mm -hmm. make a pedal board to the specifications that I would use for my trip, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, getting into it here, I guess the idea is uh, I've given you a bunch of selections um, from your wide berth of pedals that you offer. And now we can put them in the order and I can explain why they're in that order mm -hmm. and, and then we can sort of assemble this. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll start with, with this guy here, which is uh, not this the TZ not pedal, obviously, the, no. but this is the uh, Dunlop CAE, which is a really cool one. Um, so what I would do first is, uh, let's because we're gonna keep this one on the floor, Yes. because uh, that way when I'm playing, I can kind of move it wherever I need to go. Uh, the first one in line would be the tuner. Yeah. Because then I can do the mute uh, globally if we need. So would you like to do that or should I? Well, we, you can place it wherever. Do you <laughs> okay. want it like on top, up here, or, or down at the bottom? Let's put it here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can sort of uh, put it uh, in places as we go. Now I'm super... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that, the spar. that's the one. Wow. So I'm super OCD about these sorts of things. So let's uh, let's get it right. Okay. So... Is that cool? Wah into tuner. Okay, now from there, let's see, what would be the next thing? So we've got uh, the compressor, we've got the trim, we've got the two delays, two reverbs. Yeah. Why don't we take the Mojo Mojo, yeah. actually? Okay. Let's do that. I'll do find the Mojo Mojo. If you do that, I'll continue talking. Cool. Okay, you're 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 Lars, you're self the Mojo Mojo. Self-driven man. This is how I am, right? <laughs> Good. All right, so after the tuner pedal, um, let me just sort of wrap my head around this. How would I do this in the real world? So wah into tuner. Um, let's go the trim next. All right. And that will be before everything, because if I have the trim after the delays, the, um, the effect of that, uh, sort of space that the multiple delays and reverbs that I'm trying to achieve starts to stutter. And what I'm looking more to do is to have the tremolo hit those delays. So it's got this more, um, uh, wobbly effect as opposed to a stutter effect. And from there, um, I'm going to go into my gain stages. Let's do that. So I think uh, I'll start with the uh, compressor. Um, I tend to put the compressor before or after these uh, pedals, the gain stage pedals, depending on the application. But I'm going to try the compressor first today. Uh, then the compressor will go into the low gain, which, uh, let's see. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. So from there into the low gain, uh, actually, you know what? Let's 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 change this. Let's put the spark. So compressor into spark. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. So the idea is um, the way that I, I utilize the compressor is almost to um, give the effect of like uh, the tubes have been warm for a while. Mm -hmm. So it just sort of softens the attack uh, full stop, uh, and it's not like a like a country guitar sort of compression. So we'll put this there. But I don't want anything to hit the compressor prior to make that uh, attack more pronounced. So this spark boost, um, I tend to use as a third stage of gain. So I've got a low, uh, well basically I guess it would be the fourth. So the clean sound would just be the compressor. The low gain would then be, in this case, the Mojo Mojo, which is a nice low gain uh, sort of uh, tube amp sounding distortion. And then this here acts as a lead boost. Yeah. Now, even though I'm going to have this guy going uh, here as my um, heavy channel, this will give me basically clean, grit, heavy, and then lead. Yeah. And then having this one on the ground here allows me to uh, access the lead sound. But, you know, I'm sure you'd find as you're putting together pedal boards as well that these, um, where it sits on the board and, and, and how it functions in the real world often changes. You're playing like, man, I'd go for this one more than I expected I would, or I'd yeah. go for this one more than I expected I would. But for now, let's do it like this. So clean, trim, lead, low gain, heavy. So then I, I typically, unless I'm trying to achieve some sort of uh, analog delay effect, I'm gonna put all my modulation effects after my gain stages. So in this case, um, what we'll try and do is replicate um, what I do with uh, the Axe FX or, or in the computer. Mm -hmm. And what that typically is, is um, 
an analog delay sound uh, that then, so in that case, because I only need uh, a very basic analog delay for this, I'm going to use this one, mm -hmm. uh, which will be a mono, yeah. and that will go into the uh, Hall of Fame, and this is going to be basically an analog sound, maybe about 500 milliseconds with a fair amount of repeat, like uh, actually it's more like 800 milliseconds with maybe 60 or 70% repeat and a dark sound. So mm -hmm. we'll sort of cut the top end off of it. And then that feeds into this, which is going to be maybe a 10 second haul. But uh, the mix that we do uh, ultimately softens this as well. And then the last stage is this, we're gonna run it into a ping pong delay. Oh, okay, cool. And so that takes this big goo sound and then spreads it further. And then um, we've got this here, um, but you know what? I, I see you've got some other uh, cool pedals mm -hmm. here. Can we try that instead? Because I, yeah, I yeah. realize that I'm not going to actually need this as much as I thought. I see you've got that new uh, pitch shifter pedal. Yes. Can we try that? We could try that. Right on. I'll run off and get it. So again, because we've got Mr. Pink there, we're going to have to sort of tighten this up just a touch. So I think... Now, yeah, the sense for details is oh not, my God, it's not OCD. Yeah. It's just, well, that's it. I it's, think, again, it's like if at the end it makes it better for you, yeah. then I think that's worth the effort, right? And it might not be better for other people, but it, it works for me. All right, so let's say that this is what we want to set up. So yeah. would you like to do the honors or shall we do this together? We should or? just start, uh, I think, uh, plugging them in. All right, in. let's do it. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to go through these. Basic compressed sound. Now let's go on to here. So I'm I'm new to this one, so I'm just gonna check it out. So vintage is where we'd want to go, and let's not yeah. have it go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a little bit quick. All right, so. okay. The vintage in this meaning is more the um, the shape, the wave shape. Then is it it's not dark. Or? No, I think it's like a yeah, that's a work sign good. thing. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, that sounds really good actually. But some vintage tremolos would be darker. Yeah, uh, often. So this has actually tap tempo, so okay. you could um, put it in. So this is, that's why it was so fast, because of the subdivision oh, okay. was set. This is his quarter notes. I'll just keep it there for yeah. the So, and you can always tap. The tap tempo will Don't always relate. No, no, the tap tempo will always relate to the quarter notes. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. Right on. <laughs> Don't tap my tempo. It's my tempo. Don't tap my tempo. <laughs> Don't tap my tempo. <laughs> Basically, the whole idea of what I try and do with a clean effect sound is try and make a um, quasi-infinite um, delay and reverb chain that uh, tonally sits under the guitar so I can continue to play while it sort of blooms in the background. Mm -hmm. And to do that, I need to have uh, a delay in front of this that's mono that has very little in terms of attack, and then a reverb that coming after it softens that attack further, plus with a darker sort of um, hall sound, it uh, is inobtrusive. It's, it doesn't have that sort of pixelated high-end thing. So, so what you'll hear is, as I go here, and I'm so used to doing this in my own head that now I'll try and speak it out loud. So it's a real fine line for me between it working and not. So, so for example, that is too much of that. Okay, so from there, we're gonna set this one up. Because we're in mono, um, the effect will be different, obviously, than it's in stereo, but um, whoever gets this board, the idea is that you take the stereo out and you mm -hmm. run it into two amps. I think we should actually beam something more specific into this one. Okay. Um, do you want to, uh, for the time being though, let me just stick with one because I can get the effect this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with a uh, the 2290 
and delay and quarter notes, a lot of feedback, not a lot of level. Let's see. Now, just a touch of that. So. Oh no, I was, I, sometimes when it's set here, it's so low you can't hear it. Because it goes to minor 100 to be minus 100. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you know. I was just interested in, uh, sorry, I was just interested in hearing the difference. <laughs> Keep your fingers. I'm joking. I have the scissors over here. So. <laughs> Good, man. I've used them. I helped you cut up the. the yeah, I know you did. <laughs> so, let me just continue here. I'm going to go on to here now. Oh, moved him again. Looking further away. It's a threat. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. So you say that there's two voices on here, is it? Or? It's, it does a little thing to the low end. It's very subtle. Okay. Okay, let me try. After our after our our fight that we just had, yeah, we're good now. All right, now we're we, glad. I'm glad we got it sorted. <laughs> I'm so. I'm See that? Uh, Man, that was really close. It was pretty tense in here. For it was pretty tense. Lars and I flared at each other. Yeah, it was, it was like, getting intense. Yeah, like, but now we realized that we had a common goal. We were going to take those guys out if they were going to yeah. bother you, man. <laughs> Now I feel bad for like telling you not to touch the knob. That's fine. Okay. So is there anything that you would suggest from here? No. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep trying. He's like, no man, I was gonna suggest something, but fuck you. No, no, no. You now you decided to have the spark in front of your drive. So when yeah. you're talking about lead, it was it was more drive yeah. not more volume no 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 yeah, yeah. it's more and more drive yeah so i'm in standard tuning and i am never in standard tuning and so now i'm just like uh trying to figure out I, all I know is like a, a Judas Priest lick. Wait. And a seven string too, holy crap. Sentinel? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 cool. But uh, you brought that on to yourself, I guess. If, if, or did, did you just want to try uh, standard tuning or was it they brought have it, to you like that? Well, they have it set up that oh, way so okay. people that aren't in um, my ridiculous tuning can see whether or not they want to what, what is your ridiculous tuning open c so open it's c. In, with a seven it would be g c g c g c e yeah. so you just have to do this <laughs> a lot right yeah. yeah and uh <laughs> right now is this is at the, <laughs> no, it's at the voice one into voice two setting but it could be just as a, as a pitch so oh, it I sounds broken <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> I want one of those. That's a C6. <laughs> so what is it? It's like a... So it's it, nine semitones up, right? Like okay. Fifth, and then it's like uh, also like a 
a fixed, uh, like three semitones up. Oh, so it's two voices, right? Yeah, two. So yeah, dual voice pitch shifter, and okay. you can select or you can elect to use one or, or both. Mm -hmm. um, but it also has a whammy mode. It also has a detune mode, oh, and cool. you can also like elect to go from voice one into voice two if you want to have a fixed interval you want to go from to and to. How do you do the whammy? Is it an expression pedal or? Is yeah, it... it's the same deal with this uh, oh. expression pedal. Okay, so um, right now it's. Uh, set to detune, sorry. Well, you can just try with one or take an octave, maybe. Yeah, let's put it up an octave. And they have to press hard to go to the full octave. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's that's cool, easier on the man. floor, right? Yeah, that's it, cool, man. though. that one let's see what else we got yeah <laughs> but you could yeah you could also whammy a smaller oh i see or you could go down it has two octaves up and two octaves down okay. each voice. oh i see oh and yeah. each one you can select whether yes. or not it goes up oh yeah. that's cool well, that's cool actually we can go like this and Yeah, that's a short, short press. All right. Yeah, I got it. All right. So this is a basic idea of what I would do. Yeah. Like um, with this selection of pedals, I would have it uh, set up like this, and it would take a, a bit of time just to sort of refine the volumes between them. Yes. But this is kind of how I would how the angles between them. the angles well. look pretty good right now. Okay. okay. Yeah. But this is kind of how I would go. So um, what do you think? We good? Yes, this good. is really good, and 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 you've given us some sound examples, and you can go from everything from like a really dry rock sound totally. to ethereal spaceship mothership. Thing. Yeah, right. only with this, right? Like. With that guitar, <laughs> yeah. yeah, new seven string signature guitar. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, this is. I like this, man. I think it's, this would work good. So, and I guess oh. as well, you could go between these to get different sort of like. back. <laughs> People were back with here with Devin Townsend building a pedal board and it's been great fun. I agree man. Yeah. It's nice to meet you man. I, uh, I, uh, I spent the whole year working on this new record Empath and I just finished it and uh, my um, last five months have comprised me being in uh, complete isolation wearing pajamas yeah. which you can imagine not only the visual but I'm sure the smell. 
what we're doing with this pedal board here is exactly what I've been doing on the record is I set up my uh, amps so um, they have the option of going between basically five sounds. You've got mm -hmm. the clean sound with the ethereal trip. You've got um, uh, uh, a low gain. So here's your, you know, you've got your, here's your clean ethereal. Right? Yeah. And I've yeah. been going for that for a while. Yeah. And then um, when it comes to the sort of low gain bit. Just a bit more, just a bit more goo, yeah. you know? And then uh, higher gain. But I think that going through this, I realized that the best high gain sound would actually be the spark. Spark in into that. the dark. Yeah. yeah. So. so there's basically your your uh, high gain, low gain. And I guess when it comes to lead, you would probably just be able to. I heard that you took a dump in Steve Vai's guitar case. Is that I true? Did. Yeah, and it's, uh, I was 19, 20, I guess, and now I'm 46. So if I tried to do that now, it would be so gnarly, man. Like, uh, when I was 19, I could almost get away with it because it's, you know, like a 19-year-old taking a dump is, like, kind of cute in a way. It's not cute, but it's cuter than a 46-year-old trying to take a dump, man. It's like a gong show now. <laughs> 